Sorry, Neko wanted to say hi. Hi, Neko. Yep, we're talking about gardens. We're talking about food forests. And city government officials. Yeah, he's not too interested. All right, say bye-bye, cutie. Meow. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> bye-bye. Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, today, I want to talk about uh, living in a city and having maybe a neighbor complain or a city official come through and place an order of abatement or a basically like cut down order of your garden. Um, this happened to me a couple years ago and I want to show you um, what I did for the appeal process, the letter I produced. And I wanted to show you what, what my garden looks like in the winter or early spring and why it, it really is reasonable that somebody would complain and why the city would um, want to you know, get inside to your business because it looks to most people that it's really not kept up at all. Trying to find a place where it's not so windy so I can kind of get this first point across. So if you look at my backyard, um, there's a mall right across the street. And it's just, I mean, it looks like dead grasses. Um, about four years ago, if I had walked or driven past the property, I would think that it was defunct, I guess, and that nobody lived there. And possibly it had been a, like a mortgage, um, you know, like somebody had ran out on their mortgage, that type of thing. Um, and I would actually want the city to come through and be like, hey, can we take care of this property? Because it looks pretty bad, and who knows what's going on in there. So having city officials come by is reasonable. However, they turn in their notices quick. They only give you a short time to appeal it. And they hire somebody that really doesn't, um, do isn't going to stop. They just come through with a giant mower and take everything down. Okay, everyone, welcome. We're back in the house because it's a lot warmer and I can access this um, electronic version of the appeal letter that I have. And this is necessary. This has to be turned in um, along with that notice um, as soon as possible. And we actually included a whole bunch of pictures that we had printed out, put in a portfolio and all that because we thought it would make a difference, but it really, it really didn't matter. Um, the only thing that they're concerned about, and I spoke with the lawyer for the city uh, this past year, um, was that because it was on the International Registry of Mutter Monarch Butterfly Way Stations, that's why the city allowed me to continue with my garden. This next paragraph here, it has, I've invested thousands of dollars and hundreds of man hours, all that. They don't, it's not a concern of theirs. They're coming in from it as we have ordinances in the city or the county or what, whatever level that is. If there is, if you are protected by a level higher than you, then they will let you do uh, what you're doing. Otherwise they don't, they're not really concerned with all that. So this is, and I'll have both of these um, in the, uh, the video description or whatever, so you can, the Word documents themselves, so you can use these. Um, and it has all the recognized parts, like the necessary ingredients, what case number that you're appealing and all that. But this last year, I am now on the listing for wildlife reserves from the National Wildlife Federation, so I wanted to include that and update that. And like I said, this needs to be, it, it all needs to be turned in. Um, just waiting for them to not cut anything, or maybe it was an error, or maybe you could just talk to somebody. Maybe you can make a phone call, that doesn't matter. It needs, it's no illegal matter, so you have to put in an official appeal letter to the ordinance violation that they gave you. Um, and I wanted to show you a couple of the pictures. I thought my property was obviously being maintained. Uh, you can see here the corner of the properties cut low, there's all sorts of white clover, there's even a little sign there. Uh, there's pathways, which I've now made a lot wider to try and make sure this doesn't happen again. You can see the pathways are a little bit narrow, but there's an edge here along the road that I always kept mowed pretty close. But this is, this is just what people would see as they drove by. Um, in my case, a neighbor had just asked the city why I wasn't cutting my grass. It wasn't that she was trying to attack me or anything like that. Um, and even the ordinance official said they would never even come down to this neighborhood anyways. Um, and they usually leave people alone. Um, in my letter, I cited that I took care of this property as well, which has been um, on the county 
property list for a decade now. Anyways, I maintain that. Me and the neighbor now maintain that. Uh, we keep nice sharp edges and all that, but my area is obviously pretty wild. So this is swinging around. And this is the area that they had cut down. And it took them all of like three minutes with their monster mower. Um, so this is what it looked like on the 31st of May. And this is what it looked like three days later. Which is incredibly shocking. Um, I'm glad that I've planted it all out again now. But I had a number of sumac trees, a couple of pear trees, and some native... Um, I think a couple of maples, things like that, that i got gotten from friends. I just started out. But as you'll notice here, uh, if you can see my mouse, right where our mouse is, that's where a pathway was mowed. It was mowed along here. And they actually, they stopped there. You know what I mean? I would, I would have hoped that the guy cutting the grass would have, been, would have hit one of those pathways and stopped and maybe called their boss or something like that. But that's not how it works. What they care about um, that guy was contracted to cut grass. So he came over with his large machine and he cut the grass. So in comparison, it's a pretty shocking difference. Obviously now it does look a lot different because I have a lot more stuff planted out. But in my mind, that really shouldn't matter. But like I said, all they care about, they don't care about that I have the cool handmade sign here or a cool little brick wall. All they care about is that. And again here... I think it's pretty obvious that somebody's doing something, but all they care about is that it's Monarch Way Station um, that's protected by a, an entity that is of higher level than them. So what does all this mean? So I was thinking that no matter how you start your food forest, whether it's by raised beds or you know sheep mulch, some pathways, what have you, just want to let you know that at some point somebody will say something, somebody will drive by what have you. Um, and I was going to make this video about a year ago, uh, but I ended up making it now because Canadian Permaculture Legacy, the channel on YouTube, he showed a story, a news story about, you know, permaculturists that had 12 year old trees in a food forest that he was using. Um, and he got an abatement letter and they completely demolished <laughs> his entire forest. So, the risk of getting a letter on the back of back of your house that might get blown by the wind um, is a real thing. So the only thing I could think of to get ahead of it is to take that letter that I put in there, um, make it a statement or instead of a, an appeal, something to that effect, and turn it into the land ordinance, public ordinance office. Probably have to visit three or four offices um, because it's complicated, <laughs> at least for me and get that to the actual legal part of the city. So if anything does come up, um, hopefully in that case, they'll, they'll check your records and see that there is a notice on file that you are gardening or farming, whatever, whatever it is. That's the only way that I can think of to stop like what happened to me. Um, the reason why they ended up cutting down mine is because I had gotten the appeal letter in and the, the person at the office she didn't actually cancel the mowing order. So when I ran out to stop him, I had to call her and she had to talk to the guy that was mowing and tell him, oh yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot. I was supposed to take that off. So like that, that damage never, you know, really needed to have been done. But let's say I was out of town for three days and it was during a holiday, which I, you know, I very well could have been. I could have come back after holiday and had everything cut down, which is like terrifying, right? <laughs> so to get something in the letter or into the offices, the city's hands beforehand, hopefully would, would stop that from happening, like stop the entire abatement letter being processed or anything like that. Um, if it was possible to start to know some of the people in those type of offices, if you're friendlier than I am, maybe you could get to know them and whenever they see something like that, they would stop doing it. Um, because it is a real danger. I mean, being in the middle of a city, you want to, you want to protect what you have and, um, just having a neighbor say something, um, it seems unfair in the least for a government agency just to come in and take ownership of your land. Like it doesn't seem, doesn't seem fair. 
However, that's how it works in cities, many cities. Um, so I would, I would look at the Canadian Permaculture Legacy video. Um, it's a little terrifying to me, but I watched it and it, pro it prompted me to do this video. And to use the letters that I attached to this, uh, to the comments here, and use that for, uh, for future, future use. Um, but that's all I have for today, and I hope that nobody here has to deal with anything like that, and hopefully you can get ahead of it. I always assume that there'd be a knock on the door, a phone call. Um, if it was in a letter, I would think that it'd be in my mailbox and not next to, like, not on the stoop, <laughs> um, where it actually had blown off a few feet and I could have missed it easily, um, which is, you know, well, anyways, it is what it is or it is what it was. So thank you for watching and uh, you guys have a great spring. All right. Bye-bye.